Okay, so let's take a look at Euler diagrams. Now, these sort of diagrams are really, really easy to analyze and they are easy, easy marks. So let's take a look. Okay, so here is an Euler diagram question. Now, it's totally up to you whether you want to pause the video and have a go yourself or you can watch me attempt it. So, a dental clinic recorded the procedures that their patients received between the months of June to July. Each patient could have received one or more treatments. The diagram on the right shows the number of patients that received each type of treatment within this time frame. So based on the diagram, how many patients received a combination of endodontic treatment, extraction and whitening? So this style of question just requires you to deeply look at this diagram and really isolate some of the shapes that you see here. So let's take a look. So this question is asking us how many patients received a combination of endodontic treatment, so this pentagon here, extraction, so this double headed arrow and whitening, so this rectangle. So our main focus are these three shapes, so the pentagon, the double headed arrow and the rectangle. So it's asking how many patients received a combination. So that a combination would mean that all these three shapes would have to overlap and all the numbers within this overlap is our answer. So let's have a look. So we've got the rectangle, which is here. Then we have the double headed arrow, which is here. And then we have the pentagon, which is here. Now, our main focus should be on the overlap. So let's take a look. So obviously we can ignore this because that's literally just the arrow and the pentagon. We can ignore this portion here. We can ignore this portion here because it doesn't involve the arrow. We can ignore this portion here because that doesn't involve the pentagon. Now we can also cross out the 21 and that's because it's within the diamond, which is not one of the shapes that we are looking for. So our answer is six. And that's literally it. So it just requires you to zoom in on the overlap. So identify the shapes that concern you and then identify the overlap and then zoom in on that overlap and make sure it's not overlapping with any other shape and that number or those multiple numbers that you find in the overlap, add them up or if it's a single number, that number will be your answer. And that's literally it. This is why I love Euler diagrams.